Hello guys, welcome back to another MCV Digital Tutorial, and today what we're going to be talking about in this video tutorial is how to download fonts for free, and also how to install them onto your computer so you can open up Microsoft Word and get those fonts inside of there for any project you're having or anything like that. You can also open the, them up in any other programs you have. And to just get started already, open up any internet browser. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. And when that's open, there's two fonts I recommend going to. The first one is www.1001freefonts.com. And while you're here, as you can see, 1001 Free Fonts, this is a very, very, very good font site. Home, 1000 Fonts, Signature Fonts, Font Search, etc. And then it has all kinds of categories Animal, Arabic, Christmas, Graffiti, Ice, Snow, Fire. You know, it's just really cool. And um, I really recommend this site because it's easy to use and. All mostly all of these fonts are really good. This is one of the most um this is one of the sites I go to the most for fonts. But if this site just isn't working out for you, go to the one that I recommend you go to the most, which is abstractfonts.com. So it's www.abstractfonts.com. It's down here. And I spelled it wrong, so I'm gonna go to Google and Google that up. I'm type in abstract fonts. As you can see, it's the first one right here. I always misspell it for some reason. I do not know how to spell abstract. And here it is, abstract fonts. This is a really good font site. It has all these cool fonts. Um, it's got, if you go to categories, it's got 3D, calligraphy, counterless, Exotic, famous, fuzzy, goth, decorative, floral, graffiti, heavy, normal. You know, these are just really cool fonts. And, you know, these fonts are, they're all free. Both of these sites are free fonts. And it's really cool because you can go to the site and there's free fonts. And another thing is a lot of people want these fonts, but they don't know how to get them on their computer. They download them, but then they're like, hey, wait, I download these fonts. Why aren't they on my computer? Well, the reason is because you have to go through a little process to get them on your computer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here and find the font that you want. I'm going to go new and popular, the new fonts. And I'm going to look for one that I really like. I'm just going to go through all of them and just see if I like them. I really like this one, Zubin, a stylish sand surf. It's just got a nice little look to it. So I'm going to click on it, and you can see all this stuff. You can go to the character map. It shows you all the characters. This is a really nice font, so I'm going to go to details. And I'm going to go over here and go to download. Now when you click on that, the file download pops up. If you're on Firefox, good thing to do is right-click it and go to save target as. And then this pops up. This is my fonts folder, Christian Documents Fonts. I go to my main folder. It has all this stuff. I'm going to go to Documents. And then Fonts. If I can find it. Where is it? Right there. Fonts. And as you can see, I've already downloaded one, which is Dini 3D Normal. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to name this Zubin Regular. That's the name I want for my font. It's a compressed zip folder. Now click save. And now it's saving and it is done. Now after this, there's still not done. Go to your start button and go to computer. Now that this is open, go to the folder you saved it in. I'm going to go to my fonts folder and my documents. Now as you can see, it is a compressed zip folder. It is not a folder. As you can see, the two differences between these. This one 
doesn't have the little um, zip on it than this folder does. And what we want to do is unzip it. So right click the file. When you right click it, all this stuff pops up. But we're going to want to focus on the where it says extract all. So right click and then choose extract all. And make sure that it's extracting to the same folder and then click extract and now it is extracted so you can close this and this is the folder where it is at you can delete the compressor zip folder make sure that this is the compressor zip not the regular one and go to delete and I sure you want to send this to the cycling bin yes and now it is a regular folder now we can close out of here but we're not done yet still not done go to start and go to the control panel Remember, I have both of these sites in the description and classic control panel home. Make sure it's in classic view. As you can see, here's all the stuff we can be looking at. Why is it looking? Why is it? I have no idea why it looks like this. It wasn't look like, look, looking like this a few minutes ago, but whatever. I don't care. We're going to want to look for fonts. It says it right here fonts. It has a folder with an A on it. Double click that. And you will come in here in the control panel and see all your fonts. But what you want to do is right click the white space. You know, it's the white space, not the space where there's fonts, just like right over here in the white. And go to install new font down here. And when you do that, this pops up. It says add fonts. As you can see, I'm already in my fonts folder and it says Dini 3D. I've already downloaded one, but if you go down, you can see right here, this is Zubin Regular. That's the one we just downloaded. I'm going to click on that one, double click on that one, and here you can see the font. If you see it in here, all you got to do is now just click install, continue, and now it is installed, and this we're done. We're all done now. I'm going to open up. I'm going to go over here. Open up Microsoft Office Word. And I'm just going to type MC, well, in lowercase MCB and digital in all caps just to see the difference between both of them. Make them really big. Now I'm going to come over to my text and I'm going to come down to the Z's all the way down to the Z's. And it's one of the last ones. Zubin, whoops, right there. When we click on it, as you can see, the text is changed to that font. It's a really cool font. I like it. And um, so yeah, I'm done here. Thank you for watching another MCV Digital tutorial. Um, for these websites, I have the links in the description, and also I'm gonna have my website up in a little while, and I'm also gonna have um picture video tutorial. Um, picture. Um, tutorials there just you know for any reasons that this video isn't helping you out remember the comments section is open think and subscribe and rate five stars this was a video tutorial by mcb digital see you guys later